everyone welcome back again to another flutter tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about blocks yes more precisely we will be discussing about flutter blocks and qubits well if you are wondering what qubit is qubit is nothing but a minimal version of block itself or you can just say like it is a subset of block qubits are lightweight more efficient and easy to implement state management technique which we can use in our flutter apps well in this video series we will be discussing about the state management technique and we will be gradually moving from qubits to block patterns and we will be covering almost all topics regarding the state management technique using flutter blocks in a flutter application so keep subscribing and stay tuned well regarding today's session we will be dealing with uh, the basics of qubits and how to implement qubits for our state management technique in our flutter app okay so we will be making use of the counter app as an example for getting started since it will be easy for the beginners for better understanding and it would be a good example for getting started with and as you all know for regarding the blocks even would be the input for the block and state would be output of the block therefore for this application there would be two events one for adding adding increment event would, increment would be one event and subtracting that is the decrement would be one event totally two events would be there and since it is a single page application we will be dealing with multiple states we will be having only one state which um, will render that is the initial state itself so without wasting time let's get started with the coding part well we have a simple starter project that is the ui is alone ready over here starting with the main data file we have a route generator for navigation which is written down inside this route generator dot dot file here the initial route is given as the my home page and inside the my home page we have a simple app bar and a text uh, empty text widget and two buttons which are wrapped in a row wise manner right this is a, a basic ui that is only the ui is ready we haven't added the functionality so what we need to do now is to make use of flutter qubits and make this app running for getting started we need to go to the spec and add this package which is flutter block and always check for the latest version as for the video recording date uh, 8.0.1 is the latest version and after adding this package right click the lib folder and at the very bottom you will be able to notice a feature which allows or which creates qubits for you and thanks to the block extension so we can install that extension over here in this extension tab and uh, this is the extension which provides handy and helpful kind of features just like what you saw right now now let me create a qubit with the name counter you can see here it creates uh, two files one for the state and another for events let me first start with the states this is single page application and we are not going to deal with um, multiple states right now just only one and therefore we can remove this and this state will be holding variables which we will be using in our counter app in our counter application the only variable will, which we will be using or which we will be keeping track of is the counter value itself therefore we can create a variable for that this counter value and we can just create a constructor for that after doing so let's move on to the events as said before we will be having two events one for increment and another for decrement right and you can provide the state which is the counter initial in our case and uh, since we are having counter value inside the constructor we need to provide an initial value for the counter we will be having the initial value as zero so let me just provide the initial value or we can give the initial value as zero right here and after that you can just start creating the events first we will be creating an event for incrementing the counter value the output of the event would be the counter initial state and that state as said before will be having the counter value which we will be updating with the addition of one right to access the counter value and say the state will be making some state dot counter value and for increment we will be adding plus one just like the same we will be creating another even for decrementing the counter value with the changes just we will be reducing the counter value with the value of 1 
right now we have created two events one for incrementing and another for decrementing now we have completed managing this the states and the events now let's move to the my home page in order to display the value and say this text widget we need to first go to the routes folder because we are making use of a route generator to navigate to the my home page now we have updated our app with the help of cubits therefore inside this route we need to make changes like instead of just calling the class by its name we need to replace it with the help of the block provider now the block provider will be making the changes or helping us with the navigation now we can go to the home page and inside which you can wrap this text widget inside the block builder the block builder is re will be responsible for uh, rebuilding the rebuilding this widget upon any uh, state change therefore we can make use of the block builder over here and provide that provide the event and state in order to access that state variable we will be making use of the state dot counter value since text widget will be accepting only strings we can make use of the two string with which we will be able to get the initial counter value over here right now you can see we, we just got the initial counter value but even if you uh, may but we have a target functionalities for that um, add and subtract buttons so let, let's just focus on that right now here this, these are the individual buttons one for adding and another for subtracting you can just call in the decrement event and similarly for the increment you can just change the name as the increment with this we will be able to trigger that event corresponding events for incrementing and decrementing operations so right now we have added the functionality for the buttons so it should work so you can see here both the buttons upon incrementing and decrementing will be working fine that's all about how to implement um, block pattern with the help of qubit simple qubits for your counter application hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.